Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I thought I would show you all my Piglet collection. And by that I mean Disney Piglet. Um, first off, I just, something you should know about me, I'm obsessed with Piglet. I love Piglet. I just, I think he's kind of, you know, I guess relatable for me because um, I'm small, he's small, but you know, if he sets his mind to it, he can do big things and end up saving everyone else's day. You know, so I I admire that. And um, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of punch packed into that, that little cute, cute little piggy. So um, with that being said, I collect piglets it kind of just happened like one day I kind of woke up and realized, wow, I have, I have several piglets. It was kind of like on accident that I acquired so many. And now it's like, I just keep buying them. Now I don't buy, like, I'm not just going to go on Amazon and buy every piglet that I see, but like thr generally like thrift stores and stuff, I will buy piglets. Um, this isn't like, something like Mickey Mouse or whatever. I just want to preface that, you know, like Mickey, there's tons of Mickey things. I would have like, I would have an obscene amount of stuff if this were something as popular as Mickey, which I think is another reason why I collect because I don't want to be that kind of hoarder. Like I know somebody who um, collects Dalmatians and it was like ungodly the amount of Dalmatians she had in her house. It was like wall to wall. And I'm like, that, that's not even, my, like my eyes hurt, my brain hurts, I can't even do that. But see, Piglet, there's not a whole lot, so I feel like that makes it more special when I find one because Piglet's not very popular. You go to Disney to like the, um, the gift shops, the only Piglet they have that's like just Piglet is literally just the stuffed Piglet. So I think that makes it all the more special when you do have one. Like when you do find one, that makes it all the more special because you don't see them very often. So, when that being said, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, so, just another aside, I do want to clarify: there are a few other piglet items that I have that I own that aren't being shown today because I either can't find them or they are somewhere else. And so I will clarify what those items are um, as I get to them, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. So uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I have all my piglets kind of off camera. So here's the first one, they're in no particular order, they're just like random. Now this is just a little stuffed piglet. I'm kind of going to tell the story behind each one. So this was originally, I believe, from um, Sears? I want to say and they were like two dollars a piece back when my brother was little and they got all of them and I think Piglet was the one they had to look all over the store in all the bins before they found a Piglet. It was Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore and this is not the original Piglet because the original was um it got lost in uh, my house fire if you watched um I think it was the last video I uploaded I talked about when my house burned down and so among other things um, I lost this piglet. So this is a replacement off eBay, but it's, you know, the same sentiment. So yeah, there's, there's that one. He's a cute little, cute little piglet. And okay, the next one, I will clarify, most of this is like stuffed animals. A lot of this is stuffed animals. I shouldn't say most, but a lot of it is. Now this is a special piglet. It doesn't have batteries right now, but there's a button and you can like hug him and he'll talk and like ask for hugs and stuff which is really cute i got it for my birthday one year someone found it a good friend found it for me at a thrift store so there's that and then just to break things up so i don't do all the stuffed animals at once i will throw in my friend also got me this the same friend who got me this she got me the two of these together as like a little bobblehead and yeah so he's he's really cute so yeah, there's that. I'm gonna show this. This is the um, Zoom Zoom. I think it's like Japanese kind of an anime type of feel. And I got this at Dollar Tree just because, or no, I didn't get this at Dollar Tree. I got it at Michael's. 
And then I got the Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore ones at Dollar Tree. I saw them later and I was like, oh, I need to add these to my collection. So I got this at Michael's. Yeah, so I just thought it was cute, you know, kind of a more, I, I also like to go for the more unique pigments that aren't just like a generic stuffed animal, you know, I like, I like to, I like to go for those too. All right, so the next one, I have this little baby piglet. I got him again at Dollar Tree, just not, not all of these, I will say, not all of these have an interesting story. They're just like, oh, it's another piglet for my collection type of thing. So that's kind of where some of these came from and then some of these have like a, a, an interesting story. So here is this one. He's just a little cute little baby and he's got um, purple flowers. So he's all cute. Okay, so now we're gonna go with, um, let's go with this one. This is the special Disney piglet from Disney World. I got it at Disney Marketplace. And um, yeah, he was $18 and I was kind of like, what am I doing? But this was the one like nice piglet that I didn't have already. So I was like, you know what? Let's, let's treat ourselves. So I treated myself and I got this. And one thing that I really think is interesting just looking at the different stuffed animals and seeing like the color variants in the like he's almost like white whereas this is more of like a baby pink you know i just i like seeing kind of the different shades i think that's interesting so obviously i don't expect all these guys to just to stay seated up here some of them will some of them won't like he's naturally in a sitting position but they're kind of going to be all over the place okay so this one is from, I got him Black Friday shopping. He was $10 and then I feel like he was on sale for five. Like he was marked 10 and then I got to the register and he was five. So yeah, um, and I love how his little cheeks are kind of puckered up. So yeah, I was at Black Friday shopping and he was at JCPenney, I believe. So it was kind of another one where I was just like, oh, it's a piglet and it was like the last piglet there. So I was like, it's a sign. So yeah, there's that. Okay, now we have this. This is the little magnet piglet. They used to sell these at like Disney World and stuff. Now, I think they're less popular because they don't really have them anymore. But there was a time when they had like Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and like Pooh and Tigger. But they had the piglet when I was really little and then I guess he wasn't very popular which what's wrong with people come on look how cute but um they discontinued and i had to buy this on ebay um so yeah this is my little magnet magnetic little piglet and his ears are so soft oh, they're like little velvet yeah and so there's that now this is a package there are other things in it i just haven't opened it um so this is like the plastic Zoom Zoom. I got this at Ollie's and they have lots of different ones that you can just collect and you can get like a carrying case to store them all in. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, there's Piglet, I gotta get Piglet. So there we go, there's that one. And then, let's see, this is a Pez. I believe I got it on, I was going on a trip and um, my mom would always get like snack bags for us for the trip or in the car and she always included a Pez. And I think she let me and my friend who were with us, she let us pick what Pez we wanted at a grocery store. So naturally I got Piglet. And um, yeah, there's there's no candy in there right now, but there we are, cute little, little Piglet Pez. Okay, so here we have a keychain. This was from my 12th birthday my grandma got it for me because she's always understood my love of piglet and he is like posable like his arms and legs bend i just don't do a whole lot because i don't want the wire to break so the only thing that's a little bit uh, like bugs me is that his outfit doesn't have stripes like all the other piglets the outfits have stripes this one doesn't i suppose i could draw them with sharpie but i don't I mean, I have like, my hand's not very steady, so I'm not gonna bother, but 
there we are so next I have a hair tie this is a little piglet hair tie it was a set with Pooh, Piglet, Tigger and Eeyore and I got them at Disney World it was I don't even remember what shop it was they don't carry them anymore I think again they're not not real popular but I think I feel like I bought them in the Winnie the Pooh shop like outside of the ride and then after my house fire again um, I replaced them and we were in some kind of emporium somewhere and I thought they didn't have them anymore and then I remember being at the checkout and I saw them and they were in like the baby department like I'm sorry babies do not have enough hair for this so I don't get that but yeah so there there we are the next thing I have I have some jewelry items that I'm going to show so I have a pair of earrings like little dangles that I got for Christmas one year they were in my stocking yeah so those are those are really cute now I will say I have another pair of piglet earrings they're like little studs but uh, I can't find them anywhere. So um, yeah, but they're just little like flat, little like studs um, and they're really cute. And then this was one of those like build your own charm bracelet things at Disney. I did not get the actual bracelet there. I got it somewhere else so I could spend more money on the charms. Well, travel hack or spend Disney souvenir spending hack will throw in there you can get a charm bracelet anywhere you can't get these anywhere so just um I mean you can't get them anywhere else besides you know the Disney shop so save your money and just get charms there and get a bracelet cheaper somewhere um anyway so I have a bunch of charms on here as you can see and then I have the it's probably hard to see but here is the little piglet right there on the end yep so there's that and then we have this other charm bracelet I got years ago and again I don't think they're selling this anymore but it's these little like dimensional like little charms and here's the piglet he's really cute I have the the one with the Mickey Mouse characters on it and then I have this one so that's really cute Okay, and now I have, I'm gonna show this. This is a figurine that I got. That was my bird in the background, by the way. I got this at like a antique shop. And I was like, there's no way this is gonna actually be a piglet figurine. It's gonna be just poo or something. And it was piglet. I opened it up, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so piglet. And he's in a little Easter egg, so that's really cute. I keep saying that, don't I? But they're all piglet. Piglet's really cute. I, I love piglet. So, of course it's cute. Because it's piglet. Okay. So then we have this little plastic figurine. I found him at Goodwill. He's got his little hands behind his back. And this is where, um, brings me to another item that I don't have with me. So I had, um, when I was little, I had this, like, bath set. And it was, like, a little tree house with a slide. And you would, like, suction cup it to the wall in the tub and then the little characters could go down the slide and there was a little pool and it came with uh poo piglet and tigger and i gave it to my nieces and i didn't keep the piglet out of it i just let them have it because i'm you know i'm gonna be selfish so that's where i had that um that was a part of my original collection and then i also have this other little figurine that's from um, I think the brand was like Polly Pocket, but it was also like Bluebird. It was like the little tiny plastic figurines, and um, it had a little like tree house set up, like the Hundred Acre Wood with Pooh's house and everything, and the little teeny weeny figurines. And for whatever reason, you could only get it from England. I don't know why that was, but there was the little piglet one that came with that, and that was a part of this collection. But I don't have it anymore because. I outgrew it, so I gave it to my mom to keep for when my nieces are old enough. Like, I didn't want to get rid of it, but I didn't, you know, obviously I don't play with it anymore, so I, my mom has it to give to my nieces when they're old enough. 
So yeah, there's that. Okay, and then this I just got for Christmas. I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want to unbox it, but it's a holiday uh, Piglet Funko Pop. So he's got a little scarf and a Santa hat and a little gift. And there's like a holiday collection. There's a Mickey, Minnie, Pooh, and Piglet. So there's, there's that. That's really cute. I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna open it or not. Um, and then this has kind of a more of an interesting story behind it. This is a pen. Some of you, know, some of y'all might remember these. Um, you would like press on it when you like write, and it would light up. This one doesn't light up anymore. But yeah, it was one of those, and I'm not even sure it writes anymore. But I got this in 2013 right before i had surgery to get my pacemaker replaced we were at walmart getting some snacks that i could eat while i was in recovery i got cute um pajamas and then i saw this and it was only a dollar and my mom was like you know you're a trooper for going through all this you know and she got me this little pen so shout out to mom for getting me this and I used it quite a bit and I'm not even sure it writes anymore, but it's just cute and I'm not gonna throw it away. So yes, and, and in case you're wondering later, I did go back and buy Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore as well. So there's that. This one, I just, there's no real story behind it. I just got it at the thrift store in like a grab bag of other toys. And it's like the, probably the cutest piglet that I have. I think it's just, it's the cutest. And um, this brings me to another couple of items that I don't have. There are a couple of keychains. This was like a series. They were like, um, I think they were McDonald's Happy Meal toys. They might've been kids meal from somewhere else, but I know they were kids meal toys from a fast food chain. And um, so there was, um, keychains that were like heads of different Pooh characters. There was like Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore, Rabbit, Gopher, King. I think it had pretty much all of them and it was just a big head and I had the Piglet one. And there was also a keychain that had like full body and I had the Piglet one of those too. But I actually have no idea where those are. It's possible my mom has them with some of my other Disney collection that I'm saving for my nieces. Um, I'm not real sure, but there you are. So I have those. Okay, so the last few have more of a story behind them. I'm gonna show you these at the same time. This is the nice like Disney store piglet. I feel like his arms are a little bit of an awkward position, but there you are. And then this is a puppet. It's for kids, it doesn't really fit me well anymore. But yeah, so there's a story behind these. I was um, hospitalized at a very young age due to extensive um, heart problems. And so the praise team at our church at the time put their money together and bought me the whole set from the um, gift shop. Um, I think it was like at the mall or something, and it was Pooh, Piglet, Ticker, and Eeyore, and it was the whole set. And these, I'm this one, I'm not real positive who exactly it's from, because a lot of people bought me toys and stuffed animals and all that, and this was just in a big box of stuff. Um, so yeah, again, these are replacements off eBay after my um my house fire but there we go that's why i kind of showed you these two um at the same time because they have kind of the same the same backstory so there we are and then my last two i'm kind of gonna again show you um at the same time because they also share a backstory so this is um when my house burned down, this was, I think, 15 years ago? It was in 2004, and I went to Walmart shortly after because the Red Cross gave me $80 that I could spend on whatever I wanted. And this was one of the things I got. It was the last piglet on the shelf, and I kind of just feel like that was, you know, a tap on the shoulder from God saying, like, you know, I'm, I'm here, and not going anywhere, I'm not, you know, he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That was, that was 
I feel like he was showing me that at a young age through allowing me to find this piglet just so that I would know that, you know, he was looking out for me and, and nothing, nothing was going to happen that he had not ordained and that, you know, he wasn't going to let me walk through this tragedy alone. And um, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So um, that's where this one is from. And he's one of my favorites out of all the piglets. I feel like he's one of the cutest. It's probably a tie between these two, honestly. And then this one, kind of similar, my piano teacher at the time, um, her daughter gave me this. I came for my lesson and she knew what had happened and she gave me this. And I don't know if she, I think she knew I liked poo because we talked about it, but I don't think she knew that I liked Piglet or that Piglet was my favorite. I, I, I don't think she knew that. I think that was God, you know, working through her, you know, to minister to me. So I think, I, I don't think she knew. Um, but yeah, so that's another cute little, and this one's like a little bean bag in the center. It's got little beans. Um, so yeah, there you have my collection. I think that is everything. Although I will say, um, two other things that I have that aren't with me are, um, Christmas ornaments. I have them packed up in a box. I just didn't really feel like digging them out. There is a, it's a bell. Like you can ring it, I think. I think it actually rings. And it has Piglet sitting on top with a Santa hat. And he's got a little Christmas carol sheet music with notes on it and he's singing. And then the other one is Piglet with like a nightshirt, kind of a sea green nightshirt on with a little nightcap. And he's holding a teddy bear and he's wearing a pair of poo, like little poo head slippers. So um, those are both really cute too. So yeah, that is pretty much, that's my piglet collection. And I will say I did enter it in the fair one year and I got a blue ribbon. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? I should enter this in the fair. I kind of have an impressive amount of piglets. So I added it in the fair and all these babies got me a blue ribbon. So I think I have about 21 here. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I actually have 24. So that is pretty impressive, I think, considering that Piglet isn't very popular. Um, so that's it. And there is actually one more item that I am was forgetting about. I have a little eraser that has Piglet on it and it was in with all these Piglets, so I don't know why I didn't find it. Um, I had them on the box and it must have gotten lost in the bottom, but it's basically a flat little Piglet cutout eraser with his face printed on it. So. That is my piglet collection, and I don't know, something just made me want to make a video on it today. So, yeah, I'm not sure what compelled me to do this, but I was like, hey, you know what? My piglet collection deserves to be shared with YouTube. So, if you liked it, um, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below with which piglet is the cutest, which piglet is your favorite. Um, I will say I think these two are my favorite. Um, fun fact, the most expensive piglets were, I don't know which one cost more originally, but these two are probably the most expensive. This one was 18. This one was probably more because it's also Disney and it's bigger. I mean, they're all like Disney, but this was like from the Disney store, which, you know, automatically it's going to cost more. So yeah. So, um, there you have it. So I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.